Hi, my name is Brian Tannis, and I'm with the Red Hat Cloud Platforms Business Unit. In this video, we're going to be looking at builds, continuous integration, and continuous deployment within OpenShift 4. Builds and pipelines within OpenShift 4 are similar to how they were within previous releases. Under builds in the web console, we're able to see build configs. Build configs allow us to define our build. The build is an instance of a build configuration running. An image stream contains a container image. Once the builds in our pipeline complete, they get pushed to that image stream. Our build configuration will use a Jenkins pipeline. In order to use the pipeline, we first need to deploy Jenkins. Head to the developer catalog to deploy the Jenkins service. We will deploy Jenkins ephemeral once Jenkins is up, we could head to the route and log in. Single sign-on to Jenkins using the same OpenShift account. Once logged in, we're able to see the Jenkins console. We'll come back to this later. Before starting our build, we need to make a few changes to our build config. Our build configuration contains everything needed to run the build, most notably our Jenkins file. For this specific application, we need to modify the build environment variable ingress URL so that we could use it later on within the build. This specific Jenkins file contains four steps, a build and deploy for two microservices, the proxy and front end for our application. Jenkins deployed within OpenShift comes prepackaged with the OpenShift pipeline DSL plugin. This allows us to use OpenShift objects within Jenkins. In the first step of our pipeline, build proxy, we'll have Jenkins start an OpenShift source to image build. If we needed more advanced build functionality, we could have Jenkins actually handle the build. In the second step, deploy proxy of our pipeline, we'll modify the namespace variable to openshift.project. The plugin will query OpenShift to populate this with the project name when the pipeline runs. Ultimately, the deploy proxy step will modify the proxy's deployment configuration in our project to automate configuring two environment variables that are needed to run the proxy. Finally, the pipeline will deploy the newly created image in the cluster. The last two steps of the pipeline are to kick off another source to image build for the front end microservice. When that is complete, the pipeline will automate the modification of the front-end deployment configuration and have OpenShift roll out the image. Once we've saved our build configuration, we could start the build. Here we could see the build overview within OpenShift, which is getting information from Jenkins. We also are able to see the Jenkins pipeline console output. Once the build proxy step in the pipeline is completed, the deploy proxy step will begin. We could see the deployment within the deployment configuration for the proxy. The pipeline will roll out the new proxy image. The third step of the pipeline builds the front end. Again, we're using a source to image build and we could go and watch the logs within OpenShift for this particular build. Once the build is done, the image gets pushed to the image stream. We could watch this happen within the front end's image stream. When the build is finished, Jenkins will show success. The application will then be fully deployed. To see the compile driver app, we could head to the route for the front end. We'll launch a browser with that particular URL and take our photo. Thank you for watching. Please be on the lookout for future videos on functionality with OpenShift 4.